A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and uh, guys today I'm going to show you how to make an XML based video gallery. There is uh, not much around for you to actually learn on YouTube or uh, there's not much material around. Uh, so I thought uh, it will be a great help to most people. So here it is people an XML based uh, video gallery. First things first, let me straight away hit control enter and show you a published preview. Here goes control enter on the keyboard. तनु मैं अपने बेटे की एक थर्टी सेकेंड की वो उतार रहा हूँ क्लिपिंग हाँ तनु ये हमारे हन्नु के हाथ में एक जैसे आप Cool. So um, that was my son Arun, by the way. Uh, he was two at that time. He's almost uh, he's he's uh, nine uh, years now. Okay. So uh, you could see that I had used for pictures, uh, rather for uh, videos, films, right? And um, you could see that uh, we had the seek bar, the mute button, uh, the the play stop, play pause button, uh, which would act actually auto hide, right? Um, uh, the only thing that I'm going to do in this tutorial is actually explain uh, how and where the folders are kept, uh, how they're related to each other, and how was the stage constructed, and that's all. Okay, let's talk about the flash stage first. Have a look out here. Um, the stage size is 800 by 600. The FLV playback component is 640 by 360. In fact, it really doesn't matter what the width and the height of the FLV playback component is because it it, it is... Uh, Irrespective of the fact uh, what the uh, FLV playback component is, the videos will always be aligned to the center of the stage horizontally and vertically and play themselves. The action script was written in such a manner to facilitate that. So, uh, and it also doesn't matter where you keep the FLV playback component. The script will uh, take care of everything. That's very good. That's very cool. Right. Uh, and as you can see the videos were going from the first to the second second to the third third to the fourth and back to the first to the second to the third to the fourth and uh, if you you know hit the uh, prep button uh, it, it would go from fourth to third to second to the first to the fourth so it was looping around uh, very nicely and it was in a continuous loop right uh, they would auto play as well cool um, the volume uh, upfront was at 100% but you could decrease uh, the volume as well so a, a lot of uh, goodies out here okay have a look out here we have uh, four uh, layers on the uh, timeline the topmost layer is for the actions for three layer the the uh, second layer is for the text field people it's a you know it's a classic and dynamic text field okay which shows the titles the third layer is uh, for the flv player or, for, or the flv playback components which you can pull out from the components panel um, the fourth layer is for the two buttons. Uh, the button on the left uh, has an instance name of left button. The button on the right has an instance name of right button. And that's all that is there on the stage. Let me talk a little bit about the uh, FLV uh, playback component. It's been given an instance name of FLV player. Okay. It's set to autoplay. The scale mode, very important, it's set to no scale. So the videos actually show up in their original size skin auto hide is on the skin background alpha which is for the play the seek bar the, the mute button etc has an alpha 0.7 okay the skin background co color for the player that is you know the seek bar the play pause button etc uh, is white and the volume is at full blast one means 100 percent right so uh, let me show up the uh, actions panel as well open up the actions panel as well uh, have a look out here people uh, we have used around 40 lines of action script 3 which is not too lengthy actually that's that's really cool right and uh, look at the function name out here central center line and play okay the videos no matter what the size of the videos is what the width or the height of the videos is it will always align themselves in the center of the state and only then play themselves that's really cool 
uh, every video has a title so the titles change along with the videos very very cool okay and uh, let me show you the structure of my working folder okay so this is the flower file this is the resulting um, swift file this is the xml file this uh, is the auto generated uh, seek bar the the play pause button etc i'll explain what this is later on in the next part people this is tutorial is divided into two parts part one part two we'll talk about it in the next part and then this is uh folder called films which actually contains all the four videos video one video two video three video four and all in the same format mp4 very very cool let me show you the xml file now xml is supposed to transport data doesn't do anything by itself okay so this is the xml version this is the opening video tag the closing video tag okay then we have four video tags so if you're going to add more videos you need to add more video tags which have a movie attribute, a width attribute, the height attribute, and the title. Okay, so all the information about uh, the four videos or the four films or the movies are actually pulled up from here. This is the path, this is the width of the, the video. So if you're gonna add more videos, you need to add their width and the height as well. This is important because then Action Script can centrally align itself horizontally as well as vertically and we also need to pull up the titles from here so you need to put all the uh, relevant information out here cool so uh, right so you saw the working folder you saw the xml file and you saw the result was magical uh, so people uh, I'm going to wind the tutorial here uh, by hitting control enter and uh, exporting the swift and testing the enter swift on. again hmm? So I hope you uh, learned and enjoyed a lot from this tutorial and I also hope uh, you'll join me in uh, the second part of this XML based video gallery. Have a good day guys. Bye bye. Peace.